Hey guys, and welcome back to the Callisto Protocol, where we last left off. We are totally getting out of this place with our new friend here, Danny. Um, yeah, what could possibly go wrong? Spoiler, nothing. Alright, uh, any- Oh, hello. Yeah, you go work on the elevator, my dear. I will loot these valuables. So, we've got a decoder, we've got a battery. Do we need the battery? Probably don't need the battery. Ah, yes. Hmm. I remember a slight fuck factor here. <coughs> In fact, uh, let's drop. Let's drop the that battery, and pick up the health, because it's just it's worth more than the health. Prisoners, 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 stand down. Yeah, this is some pretty fucked up stuff right here. So these droids came in and tried to waste everybody, all of the, uh, all of the staff members as well, which is kind of interesting. Oof. It's a pretty grisly scene. But, you know, I guess, let's turn my headset up here. Let's, uh, I guess that's what happens when you work for some kind of like evil, evil corporation. But then, I guess they didn't really work, uh, realize they were working for an evil McEvil corporation there, did they? Right, let's go grab up some money. Some sweet, sweet. Ma ah, and there's another health thing because, of course, there is. We're kind of running out of things to realistically ditch. Uh, pretty much everything that we have on us is more valuable. There is also a pristine energy converter there, which. Uh, probably has more value than the um, one of the health injectors you know uh, any other goodies around here you know I can't remember uh, I remember this place being like really good for loot and another thing I remember um, when I was struggling to actually you know fill my pockets around here is we are gonna be overburdened with our inventory for quite a while all right Danny I'm coming Danny? Oh, oh, you want me to do it? Of course you do. There we go, Danny. I'll uh, flick the switch for you. Wouldn't want you to do anything too strenuous. Well, it looks like they destroyed a lot of these droids. You should know better than to trust the media, surely. I mean, we've learned about that these days. Okay. Right. Let's go. The thing about those droids, though, is they're not actually that tough, as long as, well, if you're armed, anyway. Which explains why so many of them were destroyed, I guess. There it is. It's two minutes out. It's right on time. Hell of a lot bigger than my old ship. You can fly it? Yeah, I'll fly anything that gets us off this rock. Wait, what are you doing? Not me. No. One must learn to accept what they cannot control. Still, I'm impressed that you made it this far. Perhaps you both have potential after all. Mr. B. Miss Nakamura. Journey was especially long, all the way from Europe. What'd she say? But I'm afraid there's just too much at stake here, and the protocol cannot be broken. So, though your story ends, please know that you have my respect. 
Yeah, that's kind of bad. Also didn't seem to be like the best. Oof, got a hand, got a hand. You can miss her hand there. And hey, guess what kids? What happens if we miss her hand? Um, well, nothing. Uh, the scene just plays out exactly the same. Uh, you know, hey, this has got a bit of a dead space feeling to it though, hasn't it? Jesus. All right, no worries. Just keep falling with style. This is uh, gonna end badly unless we can find something to grab onto. You know, like that. I don't know how many opportunities we get to grab onto something before we fall to our death. Can't say I've tried. Yeah, and there we get um, more of the, uh, like, what would you call them? Hallucinations, I guess. Killed just trying to get out of Black this Iron. This isn't about escape, Jacob. So what's it about? Not anymore. What's it about? Answers. Why did the warden shoot down one of his own ships? I don't know. And how is it connected to Europa? This is supposed to be just another fucking job. <sighs> this is crazy. I know. But what choice do we have? Arcus, you say? Hmm, okay. Follow Danny. I think we can manage that. Yeah, I mean, so the flashbacks um, and the hallucinations that we have. So what happened in the original colony? Abandoned. Along with the rest of Close Jones. Tell them about the prison here. UJC's gotta make money somehow, right? Yeah, um... Uh, something that was actually mentioned in the, the press uh, about this game, which was interesting because it sort of game, gave the game like this psychological horror aspect, and they even mentioned it in the marketing on Steam, uh, but it, it, it doesn't go anywhere. You uh, essentially get a couple of like snapshots of him like turning up at like strange points in time, um, and that's it. You know, it's it's never commented on. It's never mentioned. It's it's odd. Um, I think they either should have dramatically fleshed that out, 
or just cut it. it yeah, it, it doesn't fit very well. But anyway, let's get some more stuff. We've got another energy converter with our inventory once again being full. That's fine. Let's drop our health. Uh, I'm pretty sure like a standard energy converter is going to be more useful than some health. Yeah, so this is below. This is actually my least favorite chapter of this game because uh, it just fucking drags, man. You'll, you'll see what I mean. Um, Sounds like the hangar's still coming down. Good thing the elevator is just up ahead. Yeah, uh, it, the pacing for this bit is just weird. It's it's slow. It's dull. On the map, there was a service route a few levels down. Might be a faster way to reach the colony. Yeah. Uh -huh. This plan of yours doesn't get us both killed. Me too, dude. Me too. Yeah, it introduces like more of the stealth mechanics in this game. Uh, it's just I don't know. It's just it doesn't really feel good. Like. I think this game started off really good, kind of, you know, with all of its flaws and stuff. And then you get to this midsection, which is a big dip in the, the, the game, really. And then after this chapter, it actually starts getting good again. This is the place, right? Yeah, but I don't see the elevator. Well, that ain't no good. There's got to be another way down. Then let's find it. Come on. Yeah, let's go aboard this crooky death trap. Because what could possibly go wrong here? And again, I need to enforce this is another walking simulator section where you can't you can't move quickly. This is very much on rails. And it's sections like this that I always find really hurt a game's replayability. Because, you know, once you've kind of done this, you've done it. You, you know, you don't really want to slowly drag your way around um, these environments. Because it's just painful. Yeah, luckily Danny gets the easy way across. It's worse than I thought in here. Well, might be worse than you thought, but it's kind of our only option. Yeah, this is uh, one of the reasons why I find um, God of War uh, on the PlayStation 4, for instance, uh, the 20, was it 2016 one? I find it very difficult to go back to that because so much of it is a walking simulator, which is fine. You know, first time you play through these those sections, they're good. It will hold, maybe. But you know, on repeat playthroughs, uh, it really doesn't hold up that well at all. I always think sections like this should have um, you should have the ability to skip them once you've done them once, of course. Uh, you know, there's no point skipping it straight away because you know it's part of the fucking game. But once you've already done these highly, highly scripted sequences, you should be able to just skip them. Shit. You okay? Yeah. I told you to be careful. Yeah, right. Yeah, right. We're all good. We have plot armor. And plot immortality. So, I'm sure we'll be fine. Right. Yeah, and again, I still still can't move fast. You've just got to slowly trudge your way through the section. Come on, uh, Jacob. Oh no, dude! I don't have any coffee. Ah, oh, you stupid son of a bitch. Ah, oh, idiot. Usually. Usually these sections are perfect for ingesting uh, borderline lethal amounts of caffeine. But I am a fool. Alright. I 
Let's go. But yeah, I gem this game was definitely not a game that was ever designed with any kind of replayability in mind. You know, it was just a one and done from day one. Come on. It's not that far. Which is fine, you know. It doesn't instantly make a game bad. But generally, like with a survival horror game, you kind of hope for a little bit more. Alright, well, here we go. Actually, I'm kind of curious as to what's down here. I don't know if I've ever... <laughs> oh, you silly me. Yeah. <laughs> what? Nothing. What was I expecting? Alright, on the way, Danny. This looks safe. Oops. Right. <laughs> New enemy. Come on. There we go. So, yeah, here we go. Down below, we have our new enemy. And what... How do you... How would you describe this enemy? Uh, you played The Last of Us. You know what a licker is. Uh, a licker? I should say. You know what a clicker is. It's a clicker. It's a clicker from The Last of Us. That's basically it. It's not as dangerous as one of those. Um, it's definitely not as dangerous as one of those, but if you make noise, these things are going to come and uh, try and bite you in the asshole. Now, the thing with these guys is, for the most part, you can creep around them and stealth kill them and that kind of stuff, but from replaying this section a couple of times already, honestly, one of the best things you can do is just fight them because they're, they're not they're not much scarier um, or more dangerous than anything else you're going to find. Um, you know, they. Uh, they take a little bit more damage, and they do have the ability to hit you pretty fast. But they certainly don't feel any more dangerous than anything else. They just, they're they just blind. The, the worst thing about these things, actually, is probably that there are so many of them. And there is. There is a lot of these guys. So, Yoon. Now the trouble is, we don't really want to stay quiet because we've got so much ammo like clogging up our inventory. It's probably worth just having a bit of fun. Mission log 001, Dr. Yoon reporting. We've just arrived at the old transport hub. It's been sealed like a tomb for the past 75 years. Preliminary readings are inconclusive, but there's no evidence of a breach in the containment zone. I see. And, you know, 
Let's wake up the neighborhood. Wakey, wakey, eggs and bakey, motherfucker. Let's do this. You gotta clear out my inventory, you understand. Oh. They're gonna start getting bigger. Bigger and uglier. But that's okay. There we go. Smoke it if you got it. Uh, oh, look at that. <laughs> we got, I don't know, like 80% of our ammo that we used back anyway. So, you know. In fact, I don't think I actually jumped up this side last time. But yeah, so this is supposed to be like the slow, um, methodical, creepy creep around section. But, eh. Oh, right, I know. Yeah, that's for a secret that way. Which is problematic in its own right, because we, we don't really have a lot of um, inventory space left. Anybody want to get up? You want to get up. You're done. And to be honest, like, the materials and things that you actually get for fighting these guys is probably worth it. Yeah, he's going to get up as well. There we go. And we've almost definitely made our ammo back now. Um... So why not? Oh. He just straight up dropped dead. Now if you've played The Last of Us, you know that you really don't want to fuck with a liquor if you don't have to. I keep calling them liquors, you know what I mean, clickers. But in this game, because these guys really aren't any scarier than anything else, you don't really have to worry about it. You know, our inventory is filled up already. Right, well. Got a couple of creepos. Sure we can deal with them. If my grip glove would work, that would be great. Not sure why the old gripperoo wasn't working then. Might have been too close to him, I don't know. Come on, sweetie. There we go. Hey, have they increased the range of your uh, like stealth kill? It wasn't that long before. Was it? Like you don't even need to be anywhere near these guys. Yeah, maybe. They they might have increased it. I'm not sure. Kind of strange. But, you know, whatever. Whatever makes it quicker and easier to get through this section. I'm not complaining. Right, so there's some goodies up here. Actually, I think this is the way that we're supposed to go. If memory serves. Right. Oh, okay. So we've got a health injector, which we absolutely can't pick up. We've got a load of dudes in there. And another medical injector that we can't pick up. Alright, game. All right. Let's wake these guys up. How do you like your eggs in the morning? Right, okay, cool. Uh, what do we have that we can drop? I mean, this inventory system is kind of fucking us in the ass again. Mm. Don't really, you know, I guess we just can't take it. Fair enough, I suppose. All right. Got a grip battery, that's literally pointless. Uh, 
Right, so we've got plenty of spikes around here, which is fine. Definitely can't take the grip battery. Right, what do you have, sir? You have some credits. I'll take your credits. We do like credits. Oh. We got them popping off in our face. Lovely. Right, keep your eyes peeled. Wait a minute, there's stuff around here, I think. Some more riot gun ammo. Oh, right. Okay, I think... No, we've got some credits. I was going to say, I'm sure one of these actually has uh, one of those bug things. So we've got the tactical pistol um, engram thing here, which we'll come back and grab it later. I don't actually think we're a million miles away from a shop now, which is kind of cool. Um... Yeah, in fact, yeah, in fact, there's a shop down there. All right, actually not as far from a shop as I thought. Now, this is an interesting bit. Check this out. I say interesting. Right, look down there. We can see right at the bottom, we can see the bottom of the ladder. Now... What do you see? I'm sorry, I'm sorry. What don't you see? Nah, nah, exactly. Watch what happens when we go down here. He spawns. He was not there. He was not there. When we uh, went down there, when we were looking up from above. So, he's there now. How weird is that? So, wakey wakey fucker. Now, he's not on his own. Where are you going to come from, son? Where are you going to come from? I think he's actually going to come out of that door. Think. Come on. There he is. Come on, son. Come on. There you go. What do you think of that? Huh? You like that? Yeah, you do. Oh, he's dropped some right gun ammo for us. Music's still going. And if you're sitting there thinking, gee, does that mean there's more enemies? <laughs> you bet your goddamn ass there's more enemies. You know you're clear because the music stops. Now, where's he going to come through? Another medical injector. That's three medical injectors that the game has given us. You would be forgiven for thinking we're playing this on easy. There we go. Music stopped. We must be clear. Okay. We're good. Right, let's loot this area out. We're, we're probably going to sell some of these. Uh, we've got more riot gun ammo. <laughs> okay. Sure, why not? Why the bloody hell not? But yeah, little inconsistencies there. Like, you can't... Like, this enemy doesn't spawn until you get here. You know, we got 16 gigs of RAM. we got 16 gigs of VRAM. You know, it just... It's odd, and you can fuck off and all. Just waiting for him to pop up. Um, yeah, it's just... Uh, there's no need for it, really. They should have hidden the bottom a little bit better than that. If they're going to try and pull something like that. Right, because enemies that literally appear out of nowhere is kind of bullshit. And I'm sure you guys will agree. Alright, so, wow, we have like 3,000 credits, nearly. So, that's pretty sweet. Okay. 
um, I mean, we're kind of out of time for this video, but let's continue. Let's go back and sweep up everything that we've left. I mean, we can always grab some uh, extra bits in the start of the next video, I suppose. But nah, we, we'll just get it done here. Right, now you... You've got a grip battery, I suppose I'll take it. And then up above here, unless it's despawned, um, there was two health kits, which... Oh! The hell? Wait, are there more enemies? Yeah. Huh, okay. Sure, I've never seen the game do that before. I've never seen it kind of just like add in enemies uh, to areas that you've already cleared out. Now, I would say maybe we didn't clear this area out, but we did. <laughs> we absolutely did. So that's kind of strange. Alright, well, whatever. And our health kits are still here as well, which is good. Yeah, so that's like the best part of that. I think that's like the best part of the game for loot. Just such a nice little um, nest egg of loot that we've built up there. We just dump it all straight off. Now, the tactical pistol, I've never used it. I'm not interested in it either. It's it's a three-round burst pistol. Essentially. And I don't know. I don't know if it does any more damage than anything else we can get. I can hear some gribbly things, but... I don't know what that's about. And uh, our inventory is full again. That's fine. Right. So we now have the tactical pistol. So yeah, tactical pistol that fires preferred by ex-military officers for its low recoil and high rate of fire. Based on the UJC modular weapons platform. Yeah, I mean, it's cheap. Um, but look at its damage. Its damage is so low. I just don't see that being useful. Um, so I'm not sure. Uh, let's sell some of these health packs. Because you just don't need that many health packs, to be honest. Right, okay. Choose an item. You know what? We might as well keep recording, I suppose. Uh, now. We've got like three grand. And one of, you know what, we could just go balls deep into grip. Recharge speed, that's so, so, so expensive. But it's pretty bloody good. So's that. I mean, I guess it doesn't really matter what I upgrade here because... Um, Everything's going to be different when I uh, re-record uh, up to the point um, where the LP can continue. So, I guess we'll go for stability upgrade maybe in magnum round damage. Or we can go for the explosive rounds on the shotgun, which is pretty... They are very, 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 very powerful, but, you know, you get two shots in a magazine with it. So it's it's a brutal use of ammo. I really think you're better off. Um, uh, what's that? See, that's just stability. Command not recognized. <sighs> Oof. I think we're just gonna upgrade the grip. 
but then it'd be weird when the rest of the playthrough carries on. Alright, so what we're going to do for consistency, I'm pretty sure we upgraded this. Wait for print to complete. I'm going to wait for the print to be completed. God damn it. The UJC appreciates your productivity. Yay! Good. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we maxed out this uh, hand cannon. But we still got two Gs, though. Oof. I don't think getting that tiny little bit of extra damage is worth it, but I'm pretty sure that's what I did. So that's what we're going to do here. Assembling. Because this little shotgun in your pocket is pretty nice, to be fair. It's not bad.